barbecue. Uh, for today's episode, we're not going to be doing a video of any cooking. I've already got the food in the crock pot. Uh, it's chicken enchiladas. Uh, I had planned on doing a video for it, but my batteries were dead in the camera. So uh, the enchiladas were a time sensitive thing since they had to be in the crock pot and had to cook all day. Uh, so no video for that. But what I'm going to do instead uh, is my friend Chris over at Gray County Grilling. Uh, Y'all check his page out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, he tagged me in the crazy for food tag. Uh, basically what it is is there's a whole bunch of questions. I think there's about 30 of them. Uh, of all sorts of different food related stuff. And we're going to go ahead and answer those questions for you. Maybe, maybe let you learn a little bit about me. So, without any further ado, <coughs> let's get started. All right, number one. What food would I eat every day? Uh, that's easy. That'd be steak. Steak or barbecue? Absolutely. You don't shadow of a doubt it'd be steak or barbecue. Uh... And it, it could be baby back ribs or brisket or beef ribs or porterhouse or T-bone. I, I love it, man. Uh, I guess I, I guess I could break it down and say probably beef. You know, beef would be a food that I could eat every day. In fact, I pretty much do eat it every day. Uh, number two, what is your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant, it changes, uh, I would say right now, my favorite restaurant is going to be either Raymond's Barbecue here in Bridgeport or Jake's Burgers in uh, Fort Worth. Damn good burgers. Number three, what city has the best food? Uh, that's another easy one. That, I've been to a lot of cities, and that's going to be Fort Worth. Fort Worth, absolutely, in my opinion, has the best food around. And believe it or not, Los Angeles runs a very, <coughs> excuse me, runs a very close second. <coughs> excuse me. Number four, what do I like on my sub? That's a good one. Uh, my favorite sub from Subway is the BMT. I get it on uh, herbs and cheese bread, and I put all the veggies on there, the lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, I put those little uh, yellow pepperoncini peppers on there, some salt and pepper, uh, and either creamy Italian, if the Subway that I happen to be at has it, or ranch dressing goes great on that. Uh, what do I like on pizza? Uh, I, can, I can answer that with one word. Meat. Meat, meat, meat. Uh, you can throw some bacon on there, uh, hamburger, pepperoni, Italian sausage, pretty much everything but Canadian bacon. I'm not a fan of Canadian bacon, all right? Uh, in fact, I'm even okay with onions and peppers being put on there. Uh, not a big fan of mushrooms. Not, not a huge fan of that. What if I always wanted to try. Uh, that's a hard one for me because there's not a lot of foods out there that I haven't tried. Uh, I'm one of those types of people, if I want to try something, I'm, I'm going to make, I'm going to figure out a way to make it happen and I'm going to try it. So I'm, I'm going to say there's not really anything out there that I want to try that I haven't yet. Uh, what is your worst Restaurant experience. That's another hard one for me. Uh, I can't really think of any bad experiences at a restaurant. Honestly, I don't eat out often enough to really have a good database there. Uh, so I don't know. We'll get back to that one. If I don't, then we'll just assume that it's all good experiences. Uh, who's a better cook, mom or dad? Uh, that would definitely be my mom. Uh, my dad can't cook. He, he'd mess up a bologna sandwich. 
Uh, what do I fail at cooking? Uh, I don't know. Uh, rice. Rice. Yeah, I, I, I'm not good at cooking rice, and I'm sure that's just because I haven't done it before. Uh, I, I mean, I haven't done a whole lot of it. My phone's going off. Don't know why. No, it's not important. Uh, yeah, rice. It's just something I don't have a whole lot of experience doing, so I, I'm not the best at cooking rice. Uh, what is your least favorite food? Probably going to be sushi. I do not like sushi. I, now, I have tried it. I'm not one of those people that will just say, I don't like something and not try it. I'll, I'll give something a chance, and I gave sushi a chance, and I won't be giving sushi another chance. It, uh, I don't enjoy it. Veggies raw or cooked? Uh, you know, that could go either way. It depends on the veggies. Uh, I, I like them both ways. I, I love raw veggies, like raw carrots, lettuce, uh, uh, onions even. Uh, I love them raw and I also love them cooked. So yeah, I eat both ways. How do I like my steak cooked? Uh, I'm a medium, I, I'm a medium, medium rare guy. I used to be well done only and then I grew up. And my tastes are now medium and medium rare. Probably not much rarer than that, though. Uh, baking or cooking? That is definitely cooking. Uh, I am not a great baker. I can do it, but it's not something that I truly enjoy doing like I do cooking. Uh, my favorite fast food? That's going to be Whataburger. Yeah, uh, if you don't know, then you're wrong. You need to go get you some Whataburger. Uh, food place that I wish were close. Uh, you know, <laughs> again, that'd be Whataburger. There's one fairly close to here, but by fairly close, I mean a half hour, 45 minutes. And that seems like just about anything here where I live. Uh, but yeah, Whataburger is the answer to that one. <clears throat> my favorite dessert man that's a toss up that's either going to be peach cobbler or some uh, uh, or a German chocolate cake um, I just wrote down party food on here for my next question I'm not sure what that means I'm, I'm going to assume that it means what is my favorite party food. Uh, that's gonna be stuffed jalapenos. Absolutely, stuffed jalapenos. Love me some stuffed jalapenos. Stuff them with cream cheese and sausage, wrap them up with bacon, throw them on the grill. Mm, it's fantastic. What's your favorite Christmas food? My favorite Christmas food is turkey. I love the Christmas turkey. It's good stuff, man, I love it. Uh, the first food that comes to mind right now, uh, that's probably turkey since I just got done talking about it. Uh, no, ser seriously, the, the real answer to that, it, it's usually the first food that comes to mind whenever I think about food is barbecue. Love me some barbecue. Uh, weird food habits. I don't think I have any weird food habits. Uh, my wife might tell you something different. I don't know. I, I think I'm perfectly normal. Uh, maybe you could say a weird habit is, is that I like to finish one food before I move on to the other. Like say I've got a cheeseburger and fries. I'll eat the burger before I eat the fries. Or I'll eat all of one side with my entree before I move on to another side. Uh... Favorite holiday, that's going to be Thanksgiving. And it's going to be Thanksgiving because of the food. The turkey, the pumpkin pie, the stuffing, all of it. <coughs> the brisket even. Uh, 
Yeah, it, it's definitely Thanksgiving. Uh, your best friend's food. Uh, best friend's favorite food. Uh, well, my best friend is my wife, and her favorite food is sushi. She loves her some sushi. So that that I do know my best friend's favorite food, and it, it's sadly it's sushi. How do I like my eggs? I like my eggs scrambled, and if I'm not getting them scrambled, then I want them well done. I don't want none of that runny stuff. That runny stuff is not appealing to me. I don't want it. Or crunchy. Uh, it, I don't like the if they're fried eggs. How the you get the outside of the egg, it gets crunchy. Go ahead and take that off. I don't want that. Uh, yeah, so that's that's a little picky when it comes to my eggs, but. Uh, I have been known to send eggs back because they've been too runny. Uh, what is my favorite close restaurant? Closed restaurant. I don't have an answer for that. I can't think of any restaurants that are closed. Atomic Rooster is always closed. Yeah, they, they, I mean, they're closed down. But they were always closed even when they were open. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, Atomic Rooster there in Bridgeport, since, uh, since that's the only one I can think of that's closed, that'll be it. <laughs> uh, do you like spicy food? Oh, hell yes. I love spicy food. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're throwing in there the ghost peppers and the Carolina Reapers and all that stuff like that, you're silly. You're just being silly. There ain't no call for that. If it's so spicy that you can't taste the flavor of the peppers or the flavor of the food, then there ain't no call for it. But the general answer to that question is yes, I do like spicy food. Do you like seafood? You know, seafood, I can take it or leave it. Uh, I'm not going to complain if that's all there is to eat. And I'm not going to complain if I never have it. Is it seafood to take it or leave it thing. What is the first green food that comes to mind? Uh, lettuce. And then the second one would be cilantro. I love that stuff. I love cooking with cilantro. It's so good. All right, well, that's all of the questions. I think I missed some when I was writing them down because I've only got 28 on here, and I thought there were 30. But, uh, oh, well, there's 28 now. <laughs> Uh, I think the way this works is I'm supposed to tag three other channels, and I'll put the links to their channels in the description below also, and we'll see what they say. So I'm going to go ahead and tag Lassie's Food and Barbecue. He, that's a good channel, and he's got good stuff. I'm going to tag uh, Barbecue Pit Dog. He's a guy I just started following. Uh, he's, he's got good stuff as well, good barbecue food. And then there's Cast Iron Skillet. He's, they got good food there too, good videos. So y'all, y'all run over, check them out. And uh, yeah, that's it. That concludes this episode of Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. Uh, like the video, subscribe if you want to, don't if you don't. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue.